Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. So I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday wherever you are in this great world. We're going to talk about what's going to lead up to XRP being adopted globally and for its true use case on demand liquidity. So let's go. What is a liquidity crisis? For the economy as a whole, liquidity crisis means the two primary sources of liquidity, either cash from banks or commercial paper from the interbank market was severely reduced and stopped working. In a liquidity crisis, banks stop making loans. This is called freezing. Now, how many times have you heard, well, the banks aren't lending right now. You know, the banks don't want to give loans right now. We hear that all the time. And because so many companies rely on these loans to meet short-term obligations, it can cause significant run-on issues. During a crisis, even liquid stocks or assets are no longer liquid because customers are suddenly concerned about the bank's ability to meet its long-term obligations. They start to withdraw their deposits simultaneously. This is called a bank run. In extreme bank runs, the banks may not have enough reserves to cover all of the withdrawals, which as you can imagine causes huge problems. That is a liquidity crisis. Think of the run on toilet paper that happened during COVID. Did people need toilet paper to protect themselves from COVID? No, of course not. People were driven by the fear that everyone else was withdrawing a scarce resource of toilet paper. So they also bought more and furthered the problem. You need good, stable buying and selling to keep things moving. That's exactly how the bank is also working. I can see huge problems coming, but I'm going to tell you something in a second. I want to finish this first. So first, make sure we understand the different forms of liquidity. All of these are threatened in the current liquidity crisis, market liquidity, which can be defined as the ability of assets to be converted into cash. Funding liquidity, which describes companies' ability to obtain external funding by borrowing or loans. Accounting liquidity, which describes the health of a company's balance sheet. The company's cash are cash-like assets in comparison to its liabilities. In the simplest terms, a liquidity crisis describes conditions in which companies may be short on cash or liquid assets and find it impossible to obtain more liquidity through selling, trading assets, or borrowing. While the coronavirus has intensified the current liquidity crisis, the crisis or origins run deeper. This crisis first became clear in the fall of 2019 when the Federal Reserve took action. They were forced to flood the financial markets with treasury bonds to finance the current U.S. budget. After banks began buying all these treasuries, large amounts of money left the institutional markets creating a widespread shortage of cash. So then all of a sudden, remember all the money printing that we had? So how could we have a cash shortage? I don't believe we do. There's a lot of money out there. I think they're making it look like we're the problem. I believe we're the problem. The money we have in the bank is a problem. The liquidity crisis is going to be another one of those things they create. They don't want you using cash anymore. They want to go cashless. And then we see this. So the Government Employees Fund has warned of a temporary liquidity crisis if public servants resign to cash out their pension funds. Think about that. And then we see this. Liquidity crisis in cooperatives. Only 5% can be withdrawn at a time. That's the main key that you got to understand. When they start creating this liquidity crisis, they're going to limit how much money you can take out of the bank on each day. Or maybe even by the week. We don't know. We see that happening in other places now. They're also no longer going to allow you to take loans. That's how it's going to start. Lebanese liquidity crisis. 
and then we're we're going to talk about this for a second because this can come to a town near you very soon. It's an ongoing financial crisis affected, affecting Lebanon that became fully apparent in August of 2019 and was further exacerbated by both COVID-19 pandemic, which began in 2020, and the 2020 Beirut port explosion. The roots of the crisis run deep and the country's experienced liquidity shortages in the years prior to 2019. And that led to this. This is why the banking cartels will fall. More and more of this sort of thing is happening. Banks need to remember their customers are people, not numbers. This is where the guy tried to take his own money from the bank and they wouldn't allow him to. So he showed back up with a gun. This can happen anywhere. People think that the U.S. is the safest place, that we're not going to have these problems. Our government's going to solve this. At some point, the government's going to create this right here in the U.S. Ron Paul warns about an inevitable collapse of the U.S. economy. So we're going to continue until the market wins. The market always wins, and the market will say there will be a liquidation of debt, liquidity crisis. You could see what they're building you up to. How many times now have you heard liquidity? It's everywhere. You, you keep hearing it. It's one of those words they want to get you used to. Then you let your guard down. Then all of a sudden, a liquidity crisis is upon us, and things start to get very real very quick. There was almost a liquidity crisis in 2018, meaning not enough cash going around to pay everyone's bills. Basically, we almost had another 08 financial crisis, but the Fed stepped in just in time to save the market before stocks and the economy even noticed. So this crisis has been looming for a while now. In 08, Remember the housing crisis? That's also coming. You can't spike up the way we spiked up in the prices of houses with the prices coming without the prices coming back down. People that bought houses because they were told by realtors and everyone else there's a housing housing shortage. If you want to buy a house, now's the time to do it. They want to get you in that house at the highest possible price they could. But now we're starting to see signs of that coming also. All going in line with the plan, the UK government were testing cashless CBDCs years ago and will be launching that way before the Chancellor indicated recently should the right liquidity crisis present itself. That's what's coming. They're warning you that this is coming. We're seeing it pop up here, there, all over the world. China is having a very rough time right now. So the dollar and ice signifies a liquidity crisis. There is an emerging global liquidity crisis occurring right now. Our market cra crash. XRP is the solution. The case is irrelevant. A tool to shake retail out. And will still be go ongoing while this crisis unfolds. At some point, we're going to see that unfold all over the world at the same exact time. That's when you will understand a true liquidity crisis. The good thing is, you're an XRP holder. You, this is what you already know is coming. You need to prepare yourself for it. It's going to happen. While the IMF is saying we're running out of time and there's a liquidity crisis, these clowns are out of control. USA is next. I think that's very true. I believe this is coming to every small town and city across the United States. Everyone is going to feel the effects of this. At that point, they will usher in XRP to save the day. Brad Garlinghouse and his friends at the SEC Gov are innov innovative in buying time. This doesn't make sense, but if it buys time, then the corrupt clown judge will allow it. Bottom line is, for whatever reason, higher powers are not ready to announce XRP, liquidity crisis unfolding. We know XRP is used for on-demand liquidity. 
We know XRP will solve this problem. I believe the SEC lawsuit has been holding us back. I think the price suppression on XRP is on purpose. They want you to get frustrated and sell it. That's why you need to hold on very tight. Be patient. Sit back and wait. The new payment UBI system is coming faster than you think with global instability on a rise and a liquidity crisis among us. We know XRP was meant to solve that issue. What we are watching is a game play out, a game of control. XRP, utility for the new global economy. Listen, this is going to get very rough, very fast. At some point. I believe the whole, everything that we're seeing right now around the entire world is all leading up to this. They're getting us prepared for it slowly by surely. The good thing is, at some point you will get very rich off of your XRP. People will call it a stable coin pegged to a dollar. Don't believe it. XRP, we know, has to be a high price to move all the money. Everybody will try to shake you out somehow, some way. You gotta also be very safe right now. Don't fall into scams. They're all over. At some point, we're going to see this whole thing turn around for XRP. Prices are going to start moving upward. When they do, that's when you know things are about to really get crazy out there. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.